Welcome to the QA Testing Channel, your software testing channel. Shady, the IT knowledge. How to do a JMeter performance testing. For installation of JMeter, see previous video and how to install it. Steps to do your first performance test on JMeter. Number one, launch JMeter. Number two, set to English. Number three, open a recording template. Number four, set the concurrent user that you want to choose for the thread group. The number of threads has are related users. I set to 50, the ramp up is going to be 30, and the loop count is going to be 5. Number 5, set the target controller and port. The target controller is where you are going to store all the action that you are going to record. And the port that you are going to choose to link the web browser. Number 6. Get your IP with ipconfig command. This is the IP that I get in my case. You have to get yours. Number 7. Set proxy and add browser with your IP. You open the configuration in your browser and get advanced data, advanced configuration. And you have to set the proxy. You activate the proxy and you have to set your IP address and the port that you define in JMeter in this way. It has to be the same that you have in your machine, the IP address. Don't forget to save it. Number 8. Start recording a JMeter. You do click on Start button. Accept the conditions. And you are ready to start action script and recording that web that's number nine step you could go to the Google home page type something in my case I'm typing the QE testing channel I'll do it enter Google search and I will do click on the Q testing channel link. I will mop the browser and I will close the home page that I accessed before. And I stop number 10. I stop the recording. And number 11. I had to stop the proxy at web browser as well. I had to deactivate it before conducting and launch the performance test by running it. I activate it, that's it. Number 12, I'll review the record of the script. I can change the name if I want to, otherwise you can keep it as, as it is already stored. In my case, I always recommend to change the names. Number 13, set the listeners, I mean where you want to see all the results of the performance testing. After launching the or running the test cases, the test performance test case, uh, you are going to store all the the results on the listeners. 
I have result tree, result table, and response times over time. Number 14, launch the performance test. I will save the script. It is ask. I will save it on bin folder, not in templates. I will set the Google test 01 as the name. And it already start. It is running now the test case. I mean the performance testing. And you can see all the results as number 15. We are reviewing the test results. You can see all the sampler result requests, respond data in these three. The red ones are the failures. The scenarios that didn't pass. The, number, the, the greens are the ones that pass. Thanks for watching the Q testing channel, your software testing channel, sharing the IT knowledge.